Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What are HUD allowable deductions? When calculating the rent for families in HUD-assisted housing, it's important to understand what deductions are allowed to reduce the family's annual income. These deductions can make a significant difference in how much rent a family has to pay. First, let's talk about dependent deductions. For each dependent, including full-time students or persons with a disability, you can deduct $480 from the family's annual income. This helps families with more dependents to have a lower rent burden. Four. For elderly families or families with disabled members, there's an additional deduction of $400. This is a flat rate that applies regardless of the number of elderly or disabled family members in the household. Another important deduction is for unreimbursed medical expenses. If these expenses total more than 3% of the family's annual income, they can be deducted. This is particularly helpful for families with significant medical costs for reasonable attendant care and auxiliary apparatus expenses can also be deducted. These are expenses related to caring for a family member who needs special care or equipment, and they can be subtracted from the annual income. Childcare expenses can also be deducted if they cause financial hardship. This helps families who need to pay for childcare so they can work or attend school. In addition, if a family member is participating in certain training programs funded by HUD or other qualifying federal, state, tribal, or local employment training programs, the income earned from these programs can be excluded from the family's annual income. This includes on-the-job training or apprenticeships. For families receiving benefits like Social Security or disability compensation, there are specific rules. Generally, the full amount of these periodic payments is included in income, but there are exceptions for deferred periodic payments or lump sum amounts under certain conditions. Lastly, some income sources are entirely excluded from the calculation of annual income, such as the value of food provided through programs like Meals on Wheels or WIC, and certain stipends or allowances for resident services. These deductions and exclusions help ensure that families in HUD-assisted housing are not overburdened by rent costs and can afford other essential expenses. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.